I'm going to go over the 2018 AP Chemistry FRQ question number seven. Now, if you've seen uh, uh, photoelectron spectra, spectra before, then you kind of know you can kind of go left to right on here the way they're done for the AP and label each of these with the electron configuration. So this first peak would represent the 1s orbital, and we can see that it has two electrons. The next peak would be the 2s orbital, and it also has two electrons because they're both the same height. And then the next one it was going to be the 2p orbital, and it has three electrons because it's just a little bit bigger than the 2so. Uh, so the first question, number seven, the complete photoelectron spectrum of an element is represented above. Identify the element. So we send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. Seven electrons means this must be nitrogen. So if we write down nitrogen, we've just earned our first point for this question. Now a radioactive isotope of the element decays with a half-life of 10 minutes. That's important. So B, calculate the value of the rate constant K for the radioactive decay. Include units with your answer, units. So if we go back and look on the formula sheet, we're going to find a formula sheet here that, you know, I mean a formula that the half-life is equal to 0.693 divided by k, which is the uh, constant. And that 0.693 is actually the natural log of 2. We can move this around so that we have uh, solve it in terms of k. So k is equal to 0 0.693 divided by the half-life. The half-life is 10 minutes, so 0 0.63 divided by 10 will be 0 0.0693 since 10 only has two significant figures, we give this answer as 0 0.069. And minutes are on the bottom here, so it's minutes to the minus 1. And we just earned two more points. One point for getting the answer, 0 0.069, and another point for having the correct units, minutes to the minus 1. Now, part C. If 64 atoms of the radioactive isotope are originally present in a sample, what is the expected amount of time that will pass until only one atom of the isotope remains. Show how you arrived at your answer. So we could do a very uh, simple kind of a, a calculation. Here we have 64, and then after 64, we would uh, go down to 32 after one half-life. 32 would go down to 16. 16 would go down to 8, down to 4, down to 2, and down to 1. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 half-lives. 10 minutes each, so the answer here is 60 minutes, and that is enough to get to your uh, fourth point on this question. Now, that's not the only way to do it. You can get something more sophisticated, and on the equation sheet, you'll find the first order um, integrated rate law, and all radioactivity is first order, and all radioactivity has constant half-lives, so we could just use this equation and substitute in so we know that the uh, concentration at time t is 64, the concentration at time 0 is 1, and the value of k, we figured that up above, and we're solving for t, so we just substitute into the equation and it comes out to be 60 minutes. So either one of these would get you your last point, and that is question number 7 with 4 points.